Hi, welcome to Fight Master Yoga. I'm Leslie Fight Master, and this is day 29 of Hatha Yoga Happiness. Whew, already at day 29. So today's tool or tip is to practice acceptance and surrender. So acceptance doesn't mean you have to like it. It's just a way that you can become at peace with what actually is happening. Because when you're against it, pressing against it, not wanting to believe it or not wanting to align with it, then it gets very uncomfortable. So accepting what is, is just a way so that you can feel a little more peaceful. And surrender, surrender kind of gets a bad rap, but surrender is really about joining the winning side. So sometimes you have to ask yourself, do I want to be right or do I want to be happy? Because a lot of times we can't be both. So choose happy and let somebody else be right. So our practice today, we're gonna do some core work, grab two blocks and a strap and a blanket or a pillow to sit on, roll out your mat and let's get started. We'll start sitting nice and tall and just start to settle in, close your eyes. Begin to take some longer breaths in and out through your nose. And just notice how your body's feeling today and notice any areas that could use some special attention. I know I felt a little bit sore in my hamstrings today, I noticed. So I'll be mindful of that and you be mindful of any place that you might have some soreness from our previous days. And then let's take our hands together in Anjali Mudra and take a moment to set our intention. May our practice today help us to remember to accept what is. Practice on the mat is a great way to accept where we are at in our bodies and in our minds. So allow us to take what we learn from our mat, our best teacher, and take that out into the rest of our lives. Let's release the hands and let your eyes softly blink open and let's come onto our backs. So have your hands next to your hips as you lie back and the hands will be here if at any time your lower back feels uncomfortable, you feel any discomfort or pain, you'll put your hands right underneath your hips and that way that'll protect your back, okay? So I'm gonna start first with the legs straight up and bend your knees as needed. They don't have to be completely straight. I'm gonna keep the right leg there, straight up, and exhale the left leg almost to the floor, but let it hover. So if your back bothers you at all, put your hands under your hips. Inhale, lift it up. The low back wants to arch up, so gently press it down. You're not gonna slam it down into the mat, but kind of gently press it down and pull your belly in. Now right leg down almost to the floor, let it hover. Inhale, lift. So I'm lifting my hip bones a little bit toward my ribs as I do this. Exhale, left leg down, almost to the mat. Inhale, lift it. Exhale, the right leg almost touches, but leave it hovering. Inhale it up. And again, exhale, left leg down, pull the belly in, keep breathing. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, the right leg down and lift it up as you inhale. Hug your knees in and gently rock side to side. So again, checking in with your lower back. Naturally, the lower back arches. That's how it's supposed to be. So you'll just lengthen through the low back and imagine that you're reaching your hips and your buns toward your feet, toward the backs of your knees and so that it keeps a little connection in the lower back. And if it still bothers you, then of course, hands under hips, okay? So inhale, legs up again. Knees can be bent or straighten them if you can. Squeeze the legs together, exhale, come down about a third and hold. Keep the chin away from the chest. Take an inhale, exhale about another third. And then inhale the legs up. And we'll do that again. So still lift your hip bones towards your lower ribs. Pull the belly in, exhale about a third of the way down. Take an inhale, exhale another third. 
and you're almost touching the floor now, just hover a little above. And then inhale, squeeze the legs, come up. Okay, last one, I promise. Exhale, pull the belly in, go down about a third. Inhale. Exhale, another third. Inhale. Exhale, almost to the floor, let them hover. This time, lift your head and shoulders up if you can for three, two, and now draw the knees in and release the head and shoulders. Put your feet onto the floor and make sure your outer edges of your feet are parallel. Line up your heels under the knees. Just a gentle bridge as you inhale, lift up. So still lifting the hip bones toward the lower ribs. Stretch out the front of the body. Exhale, lower down. And we'll add our arms. Inhale to lift, reach the arms up and overhead with your palms facing each other. Exhale and lower. Nice. Crack, crack with my knees. Inhale, lift. Reach the arms up and over, palms facing each other. Exhale, we'll lower. When we get all the way down, I'm going to bring the chin a little toward the chest, just a little, and lift up. Head and shoulders up, pull the belly in. We're going to do that again. So lower down. Make sure your ankles are underneath your knees. Inhale, lift into bridge. Stretch the arms overhead. Exhale, lower down slowly, one vertebra at a time. When you get all the way down, pull the belly in, lift the head and shoulders, reach the fingertips forward. If it bothers the neck, you can cradle the head. Again, inhale, lift up. You might need to move your hips a little toward the heels before you lift up again. Spiral the thighs in. Exhale, lower back down slowly. Inhale, lift, head and shoulders up. Exhale, again, lower. And inhale, lift into bridge. Reach the arms. Exhale, lower back down slowly. When you get to the bottom, lift the head and shoulders and hold for five breaths. Keep lifting, four, remember, hold the head if it bothers the neck. Three, two, and one, release. Hug the knees into the chest and roll yourself off to one side or you can rock back and forth. If that feels comfortable, take two or three rocks and come on up onto the hands and knees. Wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Spread out your fingers. On the inhale, drop the belly. Lift your chin and tailbone up. Draw your shoulder blades towards your waist. Stretch out the belly. Exhale, round the back, chin toward chest. Again, inhale, bring the chest forward. Exhale and round. Inhale, widen across the collarbones, draw the heart forward through the gates of your arms and exhale, round the back. Draw in through the ribcage. One more time, inhale forward and exhale to round. And then come to neutral. Walk your hands forward about a handprint. Tucking the toes under, we'll come into downward facing dog. So first down dog, let's start to bicycle the legs. Draw in through the low belly. And make sure to spread the fingers nice and wide and press into the base of your fingers as you lift up through your forearms. Let's bend both knees, keep the hips nice and high, stretch out the spine, spin the triceps, the outer upper arms back toward the feet. Pull the ribs and belly in as you stretch through the heels. Firm the legs. And then inhale, we'll make our way into plank pose, top of a push up. And as you exhale, lower all the way down, hug the elbows in as you lower. Untuck the toes, press all the toenails into the floor. Inhale, baby cobra. Pull the hands toward the feet, tailbone toward heels. And then exhale, tuck the toes again. Down dog, stretch all the way back. And we're gonna do that same thing again. So keep pressing into the base of the fingers. Lift the forearms, pull the belly in from the legs. Inhale, plank pose. Make sure your legs stay nice and firm. Exhale, lower, hug the elbows in all the way down. Untuck the toes, inhale, cobra, maybe a higher one if you like, shoulder blades back and down. And then exhale, tuck the toes, make your way back, downward dog. And then inhale, one more breath in, 
Exhale it all out. Bend the knees, look up, step or hop your feet to your hands. Come halfway up as you inhale. Exhale and fold. Press down through your feet. Inhale, reach up. And exhale to Samastitihi. Come all the way to the front of the mat. Big toes together, heels slightly apart or feet hips width. Finding Tadasana with nice posture. Hopefully by, by now you're just walking around with really good posture all the time. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale, step to plank and lower. Hug the elbows in through Chaturanga. Inhale, press up, shoulders back and down. Exhale, stretch all the way back. As you inhale, lift your right leg back and up, and then exhale, bend your knee, opening your hip, and just take a couple big hip circles, circling around. Let's do one more big hip circle, moving that whole hip. Now square off the hips, look forward, exhale, draw the leg in, shoulders over wrists, hold. Take a breath in. Exhale, take your right knee to your right tricep. See if you can touch it just lightly, inhale. Exhale, take it to the left tricep. Inhale, center. Exhale, step it between the hands. Spin the back heel down. Come to warrior two. Make sure you've lined up heel to arch with your feet. Press your right knee toward the little toe side of your foot. Lift your chest. Not staying super long here, but try to relax your shoulders. Come back to steady breathing. This back inner thigh is lifting. And then interlacing fingers behind the back or hooking the thumbs. Open the chest, take an inhale. As you exhale, come forward. Let your head just hang down. Reaching the arms. Press through the outer edge of the back foot. And then inhale, come on up. Exhale, back to warrior two. Reverse inhale. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale to come up, windmill the arms down, exhale. Make your way to downward facing dog. You can go straight back to it or come to plank and lower chaturanga, exhaling. Inhale up, exhale back. So as always, take the vinyasas that work for you. You don't have to take all of them. Inhale the left leg up, exhale, bend your knee, open your head. Reach the right heel toward the floor and then make some big hip circles. Nice, big, lubricating that hip joint. Let's do one more. Now squaring off the hips. Exhale, draw the leg in, shoulders over wrist. Try and pull it in, pressing away from the floor. Take an inhale. Exhale, take it to the left tricep, as high as you can. Don't let it rest there, but if it touches, that's okay. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right side. Take a breath. Inhale, bring it to center. Step it all the way up, spin the back heel down, line up heel to arch, warrior two. Lift the chest, shoulder blades relax. Make sure you've lined up heel to arch with your feet. And lengthen through all four sides of your waist. And just press this knee toward the little toe side of your foot. Back inner thigh lifts up. And then interlace with your other pinky on top or thumb. Open the chest on an inhale. As you exhale, come forward. Taking the left shoulder down toward the left knee a little bit. Keep pressing through the outer edge of your back foot and press into your front heel. Three, two breaths. And press into the front heel, inhale, come up. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse, exhale, bend the left knee. Inhale, come up and exhale, cartwheel the arms down, either go right into down dog to stay or come to plank and lower chaturanga. Inhaling up and exhale back. And breathing here. So anytime you wanna break, please take your knees down and rest. Two more breaths. And then let's come on to the knees. And we're gonna do a little bit of a shoulder opener. So start with the wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. 
Inhale your right arm out to the right. Exhale, take it underneath the left. Take your left hand to your hip, pull your left hip back, then take your left hand to the low back or reach around, hooking it onto the thigh, rolling the shoulder back. Then, if you can, extend the left leg back. Toes are tucked under, but keep dropping this hip down. Then roll this top shoulder open. And breathe. Three breaths here. Keep dropping this outer hip down a little, firming the leg. Two, you might even roll all the way onto your back accidentally, totally fine. Happens to me. And one, let's release it down. And back onto hands and knees table. And we'll do the other side. So the left arm out, inhale. Exhale, sweep it under. Pulling the right hip back. And then take the right hand to the low back or hook it around to the thigh. And then adding the right leg. So tucking the toes under, lifting the right knee off the floor, but keep dropping the hip down. Now as you're doing that, you're rolling the top shoulder back. Two more breaths here. And then we'll unwind and to make our way back into table, walking the hands forward about a handprint and then slide them forward even more, but keep your hips and your knees in line for Anahatasana. We're going to bring the chest toward the floor. So it's important in this one that your outer upper arms or triceps spin down, biceps up, but then you press extra into the thumb first finger side of the hand. So the forearm is going to go one direction, the upper arm goes the other direction. Here we go. So the hips right above the knees. And then see if you can pull in through the ribs and the belly to keep some stability in the core as you stretch out the shoulders. If you have any pain in the shoulders, just come out of it. Two more breaths. And then let's walk on up. Interlace your fingers. Take your elbows no wider than the shoulders. Tuck your toes and come to dolphin. So in dolphin pose, press into the forearms and the elbows and then lift away from the floor. So try to lift your shoulders up toward the waist. And breathe here. Now keep your elbows no wider than the shoulders your hands in the same position, step back about a foot toward the back of the mat, and then ripple the spine forward for dolphin plank. In this one, let's step the feet together, and just squeeze, squeeze the outer hips, the inner thighs, pull the belly away from the floor, and breathe. Five breaths. So you want your hips about in the same line as the shoulders. Four, three, keep lifting the backs of the knees, two, and one, walk your feet in, lift your hips back up, back to dolphin. Just a couple breaths here, stretch out. Good, and then we'll take the knees down. And coming back to downward facing dog, so extending the arms forward, spread the fingers, back to down dog. As you take your inhale, lift your right leg back and up from the inner thigh. Then exhale, we're going to bring the leg in again, shoulders over wrists. Take a breath in. Exhale, knee to right tricep. Inhale. Exhale, knee to left tricep. Inhale to center. Now step the right foot by the right hand. Stay on the ball of your back foot. We're coming into a high lunge. Pull the right hip back. Bend the back knee, tilt the pelvis forward, zip in the belly, then straighten through the back leg. Stretch up through arrow, straight arms. So look at your elbows, make sure they're straight. Keep the right knee over the ankle. And breathe. Just a couple more breaths here. And then we'll add a little twist. So bringing the hands to the heart, lean forward and take your left arm across. If it's too much to twist here, you can always take your back knee to the floor. But if you want to keep it off the floor, keep it off. Pull the right hip back. Turn the chest toward the thumbs. And then, of course, variations. If you want to take the hand down or wrap, you're welcome to. All right, three breaths. Two. Now we're going to do this transition slowly. Bring your hands to the floor. 
Try to bring them flat onto the floor if you can. You're gonna sweep this right leg back and up. As you do, you're gonna come right onto your forearm. So it looks like this. And now we're in three-legged dolphin. Now as you're in three-legged dolphin, make sure you're lifting the leg from the inner thigh. Press into the thumb and first finger sides of the hands. And try to keep your elbows no wider than your shoulders. Just three breaths. And two. And then set it down. From here, we're going to come into down dog. So you might take your knees down first, or you might just straighten the arms and come right in. Your choice. Let's do the other side. Inhale your left leg back and up. Exhale, bring it right down the center, shoulders over wrists. Take an inhale. Exhale, left tricep. Inhale. Exhale, right tricep. Inhale, center. Exhale, step it by the left thumb. Stay on the ball of the back foot. I'm into your high lunge. So again, let's bend the back knee. Lengthen through the low back. Lift the hip bones up. Straighten through the back leg. Arrow straight arms. Look at your elbows. Make sure they're straight. And breathe. Spin the triceps forward. Pull the left hip back. Now just a little twist to add. Bring the hands to heart. Leaning forward, right arm across. Remember, you can take the back knee to the floor if you like. Also, you can take right hand to the floor, left arm up, or wrap if you like to wrap. Just twisting for a few breaths. For three, try and pull your left hip back. Pin your right hip in towards center. Two. And then unwinding. Bring the hands flat. So we're going to do this transition. As you lift this left leg back and up, come onto your forearms. Here we go. So lifting up, right to the forearms. If you take pinch of my rasana, you want to hop up. If you've got a wall handy to go, go right ahead. As long as you know you can do it. <laughs> Don't just willy-nilly try to get up there. Keep the elbows no wider than the shoulders. Three, two, and set it down. Dolphin pose to the knees first for down dog, or you can always press straight up. And then from here, we're gonna come through and sit. Bend the knees, step or hop and sit. And grab your two bricks. Or if you don't have bricks or blocks, grab some books. On either side of your hips, extend the legs in front, and then scoot yourself a little bit forward so that you've got some room if you have a hardwood floor so that your heels can slide on the floor. If you don't have a hardwood floor, they will probably slide on carpet, or if you happen to have like paper towels or paper plates around, you can put them under your heels. Press onto your blocks, and first lift straight up, get your butt off the floor. And then exhale, drag your feet back. And then inhale, slowly bring your feet forward and sit down. Now, cross at your shins, press onto the blocks. Keep your feet resting on the floor, just lift your butt. Round your back like a cat pose. And then sit back down. All right, legs in front again. Pull in through the belly. Press onto your blocks, lift up, slide back. Take an inhale, exhale slowly coming forward and sit. Now cross at your shins, let's do the other shin in front. Keep the feet down, lift your butt up and set yourself down. One more, extend the legs. Be sure to pull the toes back to keep your legs firm. Hands on blocks. Press yourself up, and then drag back, rounding the back a little. And slide forward, sit down, cross the shins. Now see if you can get your butt up and lift your feet up, and sit down. So that's just, a little itchy nose, that's just the beginning to jumping back. Um, it's never easy, <laughs> very challenging, but let's try it one time. So we're gonna cross at the shins, hands on the bricks, lift up, 
lean forward, and then come to plank or chaturanga. And you can do the whole thing on the blocks. Inhale up, exhale back. And then to come forward, look forward, cross and extend. All right, that's enough of that. If you want to practice it some more, push pause, keep going. Otherwise, come to your back. Take your feet hips distance apart and make our way back to bridge. Pressing into the heels, make sure outer edges of the feet are parallel, lift up. Roll shoulders under, this time we'll interlace the fingers, or if that doesn't work, you can always point your fingertips up. Spiral the thighs in. Keep your chin away from your chest. One more breath here. And then lower down, take the soles of feet together and knees apart to rest. So we're gonna do another bridge, or if you wanna take a wheel pose, you can take Urdhva So if you're going to take bridge, then set yourself up just like you did before, and you'll lift up to bridge. Remember, buns are reaching to the backs of the knees, spiral the thighs and widen the chest. Keep your neck long. If you wanna go all the way up, hands up by the ears first. Make sure your elbows are not going out to the sides, but pointed straight up. Make sure the outer edges of your feet also stay parallel. First, pause at the crown of the head. Line up your wrists right under your elbows. Keep your elbows parallel and press. And breathe. For three, lift your hip bones towards your lower ribs. Two, now to come back down, keep your chin in first. Lower down slowly. And then soles the feet together, knees apart. And we'll do one more. This one, you can do another bridge or a wheel or grab one of your blocks or bricks for supported. So remember, feet hips width. So in supported bridge, you can take the block low, medium, or high. I've got it on medium. And this is one of my favorites. So if you're in wheel pose, make sure that you come to the crown of the head first, line up the wrists and the elbows before you press up. Take three to five breaths and then chin will drop in toward the chest as you lower. If you're in bridge or supported bridge, just keep breathing. If you're in regular bridge, you can come down to rest. If you're in wheel pose, make sure to come down to rest. If you're in supported bridge, you can stay up. If you're resting, grab your block and put it at the base of the spine for supported bridge, either in the lowest or the middle height. If you are already in supported bridge, make sure your block is at the lowest or the middle height. And then we'll inhale and lift the legs up for the pretty Karani variation. So we do need to use a little bit of core work to hold it. And the knees, if they don't straighten, it's fine. I'm just breathing here. Firm the legs if they're straight. Just two more breaths. Then begin to bend your knees, taking your feet back down to the floor and lift off your block, roll down and hug your knees into your chest. Gently rocking side to side. And now if you have any issues with the neck or with your back, you'll roll yourself up and come into Paschimottanasana. Remember to sit up nice and tall and extend forward. If your neck is okay, you don't have issues with the back, then we're gonna come into Halasana, plow pose instead. So starting lying down, pull in your belly, lift your legs up and bring them all the way over. There's a pillow there, I'm gonna put my feet on the floor. Maybe rolling the shoulders under and then support your low back. 
So keeping the chin away from the chest, lengthen the neck. For three more breaths, keep the belly pulled in. Don't turn your head. So you'll look at the posture first and then come into it, but don't look at the screen while you're in the posture. And then to come out, bring your hands flat. Start to roll yourself out, now really using the belly muscles. So come down slowly, slowly. And then rest your hands underneath the hips as you come all the way down. And then if you're in forward fold, you can come out of that and get yourself into the position with your hands under your hips, just like I am now. Then press onto your forearms, lift your chest, roll the shoulders back, and reach the crown of the head back. It may or may not touch. Doesn't matter. Now, if this one bothers your neck, then don't. You can do um, the back of the head on the floor instead. And then release, bring the back of the head down, bend the knees, take the feet onto the floor, release your hands, bring your arms out to a T, drop your knees to the left, and look over the right shoulder. If you want a deeper twist, cross your right knee on the left. Just a couple breaths here. All right, if the legs are crossed, uncross them and make your way back to center. And drop the knees over to the right, looking left. And again, if you want to take it a little deeper, cross the left leg over the right. Look over your left shoulder, turning the belly up toward the ceiling as you breathe. And one more breath. And then coming back to center, uncross the knees if they're crossed. And we'll make our way to Shavasana. So extending the buns toward the backs of the knees, the shoulder blades toward the waist. Let your feet just flop open. Bring your arms by your sides with your palms up. Close your eyes. Keep your neck long. Rest your head on a pillow if that feels better. Coming into a quiet mind and a quiet body, Shavasana, just rest. And then right where you are, take a longer breath in. As you exhale, begin to make movements in your fingers and your toes, and your hands and your feet. And stretch out through your arms and legs. And then bend your knees, rolling off to your right side. And just pausing for gratitude for all of our blessings. And then with your left hand, make your way up. And our quote has to do with acceptance. And it is by Leo Muscalia. Love yourself, accept yourself, 
forgive yourself. And be good to yourself, because without you, the rest of us are without a source of many wonderful things. So know that you totally matter in this world. So make sure that you love yourself, accept yourself, be nice to yourself. Let's bring the hands together. Hands to the forehead to remind us to have clear and loving thoughts. Our hands to the heart, reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. And our hands to the mouth, reminding us to have clear and loving communications, sending out positive energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste. Excellent job. Push the like button, subscribe, go to fightmasteryoga.com, join our mailing list. We also have a daily practice there, so this is almost over. When you're finished with the 30 days, you can go to Fight Master Yoga and just keep practicing daily with us. And if you can afford to support Fight Master Yoga, there's a link below for donations. Also, there's one on the website. Most importantly, enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you're feeling a little bit happier, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.